The gluteus maximus is another very important muscle for a different reason. Uh, when Yanda talks about his lower cross syndrome, he talks about the tightening happening in the psoas and in the lumbar paraspinals, but he talks about the gluteals being inhibited. Very important point. And when we check for range of motion with this particular muscle, we very oftentimes find it to be shortened and tightened, even though it's inhibited. Very important point to be able to take and do that. The pain pattern for the gluteus maximus is in the gluteal muscles themselves. They respond remarkably well to our spray and stretch technique. Let's go treat the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is our next muscle, and it causes pain right in the buttock, so I like to call it the pain in the butt muscle. It's usually caused by referred pain coming down from the lumbar paraspinals or the quadratus lumborum, so it always makes sense to treat those muscles first. These would be the key muscles containing the trigger point. These would be the satellite trigger points. Also, incredibly important, if we have a posterior tilt to the pelvis, we want to release the gluteus maximus. So what we're going to do, go ahead and roll on the back. In order to test the range of motion, what I like to be able to do, let's go ahead and put this one down. I like to bring the knee up to 90 and bring the thigh across, knee towards the opposite axilla, thigh towards the chest. And this is how much range of motion we have. That should be laying flat. So we want to treat that with spray and stretch and see what we can get to happen. So go ahead and take this knee and pull this across. Go ahead and use your hand to pull it down. And as I spray, I want you to exhale. And what I'm looking for is for you to pull that muscle as I'm spraying, okay? Now, deep breath in and exhale. And I'm spraying. I want you to pull that up closer as it releases. Great. And again, deep breath in and exhale. And pull that on up. Great. And again, deep breath in and exhale. Okay, let's test that range of motion now on your back. And then we will warm you up afterwards, but let's see what this range of motion is looking like. We'll put that leg down. So we're doing the same thing. Bringing the thigh across. And that's the difference from the first time to the second time. Okay, go ahead and roll over on the side and face me. We need to warm that area back up. And again, it's really important to go ahead and keep that full range of motion in the gluteus maximus. This is one of those muscles that is said to be inhibited in a lower cross syndrome, which would mean in order to get it to activate and to do its job, we really need to get the range of motion back. So it is incredibly important to spray the paraspinals, spray the quadratus, and spray the gluteus maximus in order to help in any correction of that lower cross syndrome. Okay, a great stretch for a person to be able to do when they are trapped in a chair at the office is to go ahead and bring that knee up towards the chest. That's a really great stretch. And bring it back down and bring it to the opposite side. There we go. We have a really nice stretch now for that gluteus maximus. Thank you.